Well, pole dancing as a workout is nothing new. Over the past few years, independent studios have popped up all over the country. But Kristen Kane is here tonight to explain a unique type of pole dancing class here in our area, Kristen. Well, Melinda, I bet you've never heard of this one before, pole fitness for Jesus. And I know you're probably thinking, how on earth can you mix pole dancing with Jesus? Well, according to one studio up in spring, you can definitely mix the two. You're going to step in front with the inside leg. Now you are going to kick this one out. I actually, I was a dancer for three years. Okay. Um, it's probably seven years ago okay. or so. Um, I did it for a while. It's, it was not something that I felt very rewarded with, um, but to each his own, and um, it was just something I didn't really want to do anymore. So I actually decided to take the part that I liked about that and bring it here, but it's so much fitness, you know. It's not, I don't... I don't teach women to be strippers. <laughs> Every second Sunday of the month, Crystal Deans invites female churchgoers into her pole dancing studio. On the Sundays when we do the pole fitness for Jesus, um, we do the upbeat contemporary Christian music. Um, because, you know, people have to bring their church program to get into the class. Um, so we basically are just continuing the whole worship thing. Don't let the name of the class fool you, though. There's no prayer beforehand. There's no crosses hanging in her studio. Just to, like I said, get past the whole stigma of the whole thing. I'm very Christian. I go to church every Sunday, you know, and I pray. I talk to God, things like that. I just, I think that there's nothing wrong with what I do. Oh, you're getting there. You're going to get it. You know, I teach women to feel good about themselves. I teach them to be empowered. So here and here. And, you know, we get in really good shape. God is the only person that judges. So anybody who wants to judge me, feel free to do it. But um, I'm good with God, so that's what's important to me. And I really don't care what people think. And neither does newcomer Tiffany Booth. So I think it's a fabulous thing. I was raised around religion and everything. My parents, very religious, and I just... Also, it's a great way that you can get that stigma off. It's not just dancing on a pole. It's just all it is is you've got music and you've got girls together working out. And it's a different kind of workout. There's tons of different kinds of workouts. This just happens to be one. I mean, it does the legs. That's why we wear the shoes, actually. Um, the shoes are good for the legs and, you know, the glutes. Um, but it's a lot of upper body and a lot of core. Down, up. And that is definitely something I can attest to. The shoulder part, it yeah. hurts. Ow, ow, it hurts a little. <laughs> I'm going to be sore, no bruises. <laughs> well, I didn't have any any bruises, but I did I did just a few moves, and I was sore for a few days. I had never tried uh, the pole fitness before. It's quite a workout, I but, hear. But you got to look at this. I took a picture of my wrist because afterwards, I left my watch on. And it was a little bit bloody. You can see there it's a little bit red. So if you are going to try this, just leave all your jewelry at home. All right, Kristen. Well, it's good for the reporter involvement tonight. But I got to ask you, there may be a lot of people out there who are wondering um, what she thinks. You know, they may think that this is a gimmick and in really poor taste to use the name of Jesus with pole dancing. You know what? You're right. And we've been talking about this in the newsroom all day. Mm -hmm. You've seen some of our Facebook comments about it. Um, but they take it very seriously. You know, she's very genuine about it. Um, she has had some people come and, you know, film Bibles on her door and everything, but it's exactly like she said, uh, you know, it's not for everyone, but they're not teaching you to be sexy dancing on the pole. So this they're is not the gateway into stripping. Fitness. No, 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 no. Okay. I mean, if you want to do that, you can, but it's all about being spiritual. And I, and I must add that it's free. This is free. If you bring your church program and she only allows 10 women in there, all women. So, you know, they take it very seriously, All right. but it's not for everyone. All right, Kristen Kane, very interesting mm -hmm. story. Thanks so much.